Well, in a few days, Obama and the rest of the world's most powerful leaders will be meeting at the G8 summit in Italy. But earlier this year, we asked if you would like to go, and four young viewers were chosen to represent Britain at UNICEF's Junior 8 summit, called the J8. In preparation, they've been looking at the key issues that affect the world today, and have been to Barbados to report on the spread of HIV and AIDS. <laughs> We are the lucky four who were picked to be the UK J8 team and after a long flight we finally arrived in this beautiful island of Barbados. I like it. Here's the paradise. Here's where you get milk and honey. But although it looks perfect, it's not. Almost 2% of the population have HIV and AIDS, making it the second biggest affected region in the world. HIV and AIDS are normally associated with sub-Saharan Africa, parts of Asia, and it's like, to think that Barbados has such a high prevalence is really, it's really like, shocking to me, actually. The Barbadian parliament plan on spending $90 million over five years to fight the problem. When I met the Prime Minister of Barbados, we asked him a couple of questions. I uh, wanted to know what he was thinking about HIV and AIDS. Because of the grave dangers associated with the virus, as well as the cost to the healthcare system to treat uh, people who are HIV uh, positive, that we can really get the message out in, in whatever informal settings. We went and met a group of children in some school, which they try to face like HIV issues and kind of like education. If you're willing to have sex, then you're willing to pay the consequence. We quickly realized the stigma surrounding HIV and AIDS in Barbados, something the government are trying to combat with posters all over the island. But it wasn't until we met Fabian that it all seemed real to us. His dad died from the disease. It was, you know, a very, very difficult time for the family. Uh, first of all, finding out, having to live with the family, going through the experience of him having the virus, and then, of course, dealing with the fact that he had passed away. Today was very inspirational because we witnessed firsthand about how HIV and AIDS is a huge issue in the Caribbean, especially in Barbados. And if we could feed that back to the GA leaders, about how they should address the issues of HIV and AIDS and how they should prioritise it so people could be more aware of it. Good stuff. And tomorrow our young reporters will be telling us about how climate change is affecting Barbados.